Hey, Melman, have you seen Alex lately? He's not looking so good. Oh, dear. I knew it was only a matter of time until one of us contracted a disease indigenous to these new lands and passed it on to the rest. Our bodies aren't designed to survive in this environment. Do you understand, Gloria? Our bodies just aren't designed. Melman, you need to grab some downtime, buddy. I don't think Alex has any kind of disease. I think he's just getting really, really hungry. Did you notice he didn't eat a single thing at the banquet? Oh, that. Well, yes, I noticed, but that's just because we couldn't find a steak tree. Once we find one of those, he'll be eating like a sheep with enterotoxemia. Except hopefully he won't die afterwards. That's all well and good, except there's no such thing as a steak tree! Uh-oh. Now I'm back to being worried again. And that can lead to equine protozoal myelitis, or EPM for short. Melman, you're not getting equine proto whatever. We just need to figure out a way for Alex to get some steak. There's Maurice over there. Why don't you go ask him if he can help? Melman, thank the stars you're here. Hey, do you have any steak trees in this jungle? I am sorry, my friend, but I have not heard of such a thing. But if we did have this steak you speak of, it would have to be on this grand baobab tree. Unfortunately, though, it is festering with baobab worms. Perhaps you could help us save the tree from the worms and maybe find this thing you call steak. Good thing I'm not tall enough to see these. Oh, worms! Why didn't you tell me they were so horrible? I'm trying, Melman. You can save the tree and wipe out the worms and their nests by gliding to these mushroom platforms around the tree. Our bad buddies have supplied you with coconuts to fling at them. But I heard that worms in the nest are poisonous. My body cannot tolerate toxins. Then make sure you don't touch them. Glide to the platform over there. Oh. Well, why can't I throw something clean? Like antibacterial soaps or something? As much as I want to complain, there's something about flinging these coconuts I actually like. I better watch out for those vultures. Maybe I can fling some coconuts at them. Coconuts would be hairy? <laughs>
up a tree! Vertigo is just one of the many possible side effects of being up this high. Good news, Melman! We found the Baobab Worm's primary colony! That's good news? Well, the good news is that we found them. The bad news is that they're breeding like crazy! We need to stop them! Pronto! That's terrible! It looks like there's quite an army of those filthy little creatures down there. Right. And that's where you come in. This time, instead of coconuts, you're going to have to fling these durian bombs down onto the worms and their nests. We're counting on you, Melman. Let's get a move on! <laughs> Find the next pile of durians and bomb the next colony. Next pile of durians and away we'll go! Hey! That rhyme! <laughs> Yay! Maybe I should have mentioned my acrophobia before agreeing to do this goal? Yay! Nice! 
climb much higher, the risk of pulmonary edema increases tremendously. Escape! With just one hole in the eyes, the filth hole! Ah! Oh, each of these worms is their own little tickle. Melman, you did it! You're our hero! That was high pressure! You really stretched yourself! <laughs> Melman, I can't believe you! Since when are you such a stud? You totally saved the day! Don't suppose you're up for another little task? Hey, it's my turn. What's the job? Remember that out-of-control mole from the banquet? He and his friends have taken up residence underneath our garden! They're ruining it! Situation, all right. I've been busting my hump to keep this garden productive, and these moles could care less, all right? You think you can help me? I'm game. What do you need me to do? All right. These bad boys come in three colors. The black ones are mild. The gray ones are wild. The brown ones are somewhere in the middle, all right? You show these pests you mean business, and I'll give you a point for the black, two for the brown, and three for those gray menaces. And if you can get enough points, my troubles will be literally buried. Literally. <laughs> You pass pick the wrong guard to do whatever it is you need. You pass pick the wrong guard to do whatever it is you do. Stand around in my room. Alright, I've been busting my hump to keep this garden productive and these moles could care less, alright? You think you can help me? I'm game. What do you need me to do? Alright, these bad boys come in three colors. The black ones are mild. The gray ones are wild. The brown ones are somewhere in the middle, alright? You show these pests you mean business and I'll give you a point for the black, two for the brown, and three for those gray menaces. And if you can get enough points, my troubles will be literally buried. Literally. <laughs> Like most skin clothing is about to come back in style. Come here, you good squirt. You pets pick the wrong.
Have you seen your friend Alex lately? Alex? Oh, yeah, he's down there. I mean, have you seen his condition? It's making me very uncomfortable. You three look delicious tonight. <laughs> like to come down for, for dinner? This isn't good. I'm gonna go find Marty. Melman, we need to get across this valley to the cave over there if we want to catch up to the others. Alex seems to have developed a strange, unhealthy obsession with you, Mort. Yeah, you think? Your little helicopter spinning routine could come in handy. If you can fly me from one platform to another, we can avoid your crazed friend. Sounds doable, I guess. Just make sure to stay elevated and don't fall down to the ground level. Or, uh, well, let's just say you don't want to know what could happen. Right. Ha! Ah, we finally get to play! This is horrible. I am especially intolerant to pain. Ooh la la! Mort Tartar! Mort! I just love having guests for dinner! I just want to play! Guests for dinner. <laughs> Alex must have gone completely crazy. I'd like to discuss with catch you. that, can I? I'd like to discuss with you. Snap out of it. Go uncrazy or something. above the ground, I think I might have been a goner. Yeah, I'm getting worried about Marty and Gloria being down there. Less worried now. It seems your friend Alex has finally understood his predatory nature. Huh? What are you talking about? What I mean is, Alex is a lion and lions eat other animals. That's where steak comes from! Uh, still not getting it. Does this explain things, Melman? Alex just bit me on the butt! See? Yep, that is a bite on the butt, all right. Unless we all want to be steak, I suggest we beat it. <laughs> 